Hey, how's it going, Yankees fans? Yet again, it is Felix from NYNews.com. Like always, I'm looking for Yankees fans, let's talk about one of my Dominican brothers out there, Luis Castillo of the Cincinnati Reds, who has been reportedly put on the trading block. Even our friend Sonny Gray is reportedly being shopped as well. I can see the Reds trading Luis Castillo, even though he's a potential ace. He's a flamethrower, has one of the best change-ups in the game. For the simple fact, he's going up there in age. He's turning about 29 years old in a couple of weeks, so I can see how and why the Reds are going to shop him. You see, if Castillo was about 24 years old, then I'll say this is a load of BS, but since he's up there in age already... He's good as gone. The Reds are going to shop him. And if I were the Yankees, I know for a fact that the Yankees were interested in Luis Castillo. I believe like a season ago, I made a couple of videos on him. Uh, just search my channel, Luis Castillo. You'll see it. We all know that the Yankees are trying to save money. So you could kiss uh, Trevor Bauer to goodbye. Anybody on here that tells you that Trevor Bauer is going to become a Yankee is just looking for clicks. Uh, the Yankees are not going to spend big. I mean, they can't even afford uh, DJ LeMahieu at this point. So the Yankees' alternatives this offseason is going to be by trade. Uh, Sam and Eddie Source uh, talked about this repeatedly on his live shows as well. And in my honest opinion, that's a better round due to trade round. The Yankees have been holding on to assets for quite some time now. And if you ask me, they have a few players that could get the job done if you trade for or attempt to trade for a player like Luis Castillo. And no, the Martian is not going anywhere. Jason Dominguez, you can't even trade him. I think you need to wait one more year. If you even attempt to include him in trades, the Yankees are going to hold on to him. But it's just preposterous to include him in any trades. I see Yankees fans uh, trying to trade Jason Dominguez already. That guy's the future. He's built like a tank. Uh, you know... Latino, uh, Mike Trout, in my honest opinion. So speaking about taking a trade route this offseason, if you're going to trade for a player and he's available, like a Luis Castillo, you put in 100% of your effort in making that trade. Luis Castillo is a good number two man behind Garrett Cole. I know we're forgetting about Luis Severino, but Luis Castillo has better out pitches than Luis Severino, in my honest opinion. So again, I bring up his age, 28. He's turning 29 in December to December 12th or something like that. Do you offer a player like Davey Garcia? Do you include him in a package? I would. For the simple fact that Davey Garcia... His velocity, velocity-wise, he's not Pedro Martinez. Pedro Martinez was about three more inches uh, taller than he was. His velocity is not going to sustain his body frame to, let's say, the age that Luis Castillo is at right now. So, do you take that gamble training away a 21-year-old for a pitcher that still pitches 100 miles per hour with his four-seam fastball that's about to turn 29. I think it's a good selling point. A good player. To lure the Reds in for talks. In my honest opinion. That's how you're going to talk to the Reds. Look, David Garcia is only 21 years old. Uh, Luis Castillo just turned 29. That is a good talking point. To let's say. Yes, you give up David Garcia. But you attach. Let's say subpar players. In a trade with him. And my mistake, uh, Luis Castillo just turned 28, but still, he's going up there in age. But what I'm trying to say here is, it's a good starting point to approach the Reds and say, Hey, look, we got a young stud. Your guy is going up there in age. You, you already said that you wanted to trade him. Let's work on a deal. And if the Yankees, if I hear the Yankees are talking to the Reds for Luis Castillo, I would lose my Luis Castillo, yes, he's been in the major leagues for about, what, three to four seasons, and he's about 28. That's kind of weird, right? But still, I would lose my for the simple fact that Luis Castillo could be a premier 
ace on any Major League Baseball team, and he'll be the number two on the New York Yankees, followed by, obviously, Luis Severino when he's up, back, and ready. Or, let's say, Luis Severino at two, Luis Castillo at three. Who knows? The Yankees would have a freaking flamethrower who is the nastiest pitcher out there when it comes to throwing that changeup. So, like always, Yankee fans, tell me what you guys think. Leave your opinions in the comment section below. And like always, this has been Felix from nynews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you out next time. Before it hits the